charge the rest with being unfair and anything but square shooting on this proposition. If they want, if they wish to repeal the 18th Amendment to the Constitution, the way is clear. Let them do like we guys did when we put the 18th Amendment in the Constitution. Now you're I was honored four years ago by being offered the presidential nomination of this party, but declined it in order that I might not divide the dry vote in pivotal states. But now, since both the Republican and the Democratic conventions have betrayed the 18th Amendment, which was wrapped in prayer and enacted in constitutional majesty, this convention of real drives is an absolute necessity in order that we may keep our prohibition conscience on top. I am known as Canon Chase, Washington, D.C. The issue before this country is moral. That immorality has affected the economic and the political system. The trouble with the 18th Amendment is not that it cannot be enforced, but it is that there has grown up an alliance between organized crime and the corrupt polit political system. The Honorable Clinton N. Howard, Chairman of the National United Committee for Law Enforcement, as temporary chairman of the National Prohibition Convention at Indianapolis, delivering the keynote address. We say tell us, Mr. Chairman, that they do not want the return of the saloon. What do they want? They say we want beer. My friends, if you bring back beer, you bring back the bar. If you bring back the bar, you have the saloon. The same old institution with the flag over the door, with the license on the wall, with the sawdust on the floor, with the bar lined with the boys and bums spending their money debauching their characters, rotting their bodies, and jeopardizing their immortal souls. The curse of the cradle, the nightmare of the marriage altar, the vulture of human society, the populator of the cemetery, the wild beast of our boasted Christian civilization, untamed and untamable, unwashed and unwashable, uncivilized and uncivilizable, unmuzzled wherever licensed upon the highways of city, state, and nation, scattering physical, mental, and moral hydrophobia among the people, leaping upon our little children, driving its poisonous fangs into the heart and brain and blood of our young men, stealing the roses from the cheeks and the virtue from the hearts of our daughters, disappointing the hopes of our fathers, breaking the hearts of our mothers, destroying our homes, corrupting our politics, making cowards of our policemen and perjurers, of our public officers, and smiting with the leprous of perdition the gate of every city and the foundation of every state. That's what it was. And that's what it will be again. I am George Nye, the Quaker evangelist of Madison, Wisconsin. The great people of the United States of America are out exhibiting their menagerie. The Republican Party has paraded the elephant around the ring and fed him so much booze that already his stomach is contracting and he's about to lie down with a bellyache. The Democrat Party has paraded the jackass around the ring and fed him so much booze that he's liable to lie down in a drunken stupor. The Prohibition Party have always fed the goat on pure green grass and cold water. And now my slogan is uh, fire, fire.